today I am going to show you how to do the pretty gold uh, shimmery text that you see in a lot of blog posts and social media graphics. It seems to be pretty popular right now. So first let's start with our rectangle tool and we're just going to draw a rectangle. It doesn't really matter what size um, or anything. And we'll start with a blank because I'm sure that's how it was for you. And first thing we're going to do is go to our, up to our menu, go to window, and then find our gradient palette, which is right here. And let's get that over here so we can see it. And it automatically defaults to this first uh, gradient, which is just white to black. So we are going to go ahead and click that square to fill our rectangle. And now we're going to customize this gradient to be different shades of gold. Um, and I already went ahead and picked two different shades of gold that I'm going to use, and I'll give them to you here. They're in my library. They are... Let's see if I can zoom in. Okay. Right here. CCBF48 and B98, B4985B. If you want to jot those numbers down, um, you can to make it easier, or you can experiment with your own colors too, it doesn't matter. Okay, and we're going to delete that little square that I made accidentally. So, we are going to select our rectangle, and then we're going to go over to our gradient option panel here. And to start with, we're just going to click underneath this bar a series of times, probably at least eight or nine. If you click, another little marker bar appears. So we're just going to keep click, 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 all the way down to the end. Now we're going to go in and fill these color markers with our gold colors. So let's start with the first one. If you double click on that little marker, it brings up a color palette. And then we're going to type in CCBF48, which is our first color of gold. Hit enter. And there, we got to start. So now I'm going to copy that color number and I'm going to paste it in every other marker. And one more. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing for the other colors, but I'm going to use, so I'm going to click on my second marker and I'm going to type in my second color of gold, which is the 4985B. And let's copy that, make it easy. And then go back to every other. There we go. Okay, so now you can see we have this nice little gradient of our two different shades of gold. And you can you can do this however you want. You can do three shades of gold, you can do four shades of gold. Um, it's completely customizable to whatever you want. This is, I'm just gonna use this for demonstration purposes. Okay, so now before we go any further, we don't, we don't wanna do this have to do this and plug these colors in again so we're gonna go ahead and save this um, gradient to our swatch palette and you do that you go over to your gradient window this little triangle right next to the square hit that and then you'll see this little icon down here that says add to swatches so we're gonna add that and then in essence it kind of saves it for us if we want to call it up or use it again later we go to window and down to swatches 
And here it is, saved in our swatch palette right there. So we could delete this, draw a new box or any kind of pattern and just click this button and it would fill it for us. Super easy time saver. So, okay, now the fun part. Um, you are gonna type your text, whatever text you want to be your shiny gold. And I am just gonna use my name. So type your text, make it big, make it the same size as your rectangle <clears throat> so that it is on top. The color of it doesn't matter because it's going to change anyway. So get a font that you like and then it's just a series of three commands. Um, super simple. With your text selected, you're going to go up to type and you're going to choose create outlines. Click that. And you can see now your name or whatever text you typed in here is no longer a font. It's actually lines, which is what we want. We, we can't go in and select it anymore and retype over it. So now select your text again, and now you're gonna go up to object. You're gonna make this a compound path. So compound path, slide over to make. And now it is all combined into one compound path. Then we have one more thing to do. We are going to select all of this text and background, and then go back up to object. We're gonna make it a clipping mask. And this little error message comes up because it's kind of a com complex object that we're transforming, but just hit okay. And voila, there's your gold text. Super simple, you can do it any way you want. And you know what, if this, if we get to this point and you're like, eh, I, it still doesn't look quite right to me, um, very, very, very easily fixable. You can do Control Z and kind of just back out of your steps. And here's the, here's your gradient again. If you want to go in and add different colors or tweak your colors, go ahead and do that. Um, if you do sh shift control Z, it goes forward through your through your steps. So that's kind of a cool little tool. Hopefully this was helpful for you and it will aid in your creation of super awesome blog and social media graphics. Thanks for watching.